Today we're going to start on the garbage plank and I'm going to be a little more detailed than I have in the past because I'm starting to get queries <laughs> and my memory is not really as good as it used to be. I actually started writing down my love so that I could record what I did because the videos are really meant to just show you the process and not really discuss the details. I've got my trusty little book with my notes written down. So just to quickly go through it, um, the rabbit is approximately three inches deep. It's not actually given um, in, the, in the plan, but when I look at the height of the, um, of the rabbit, it's approximately the same as the depth. And the depth will change from a V-shape to a flat shape, depending on where you are on the model. So we're starting in the center and we're going between 6-4 and C-4. Um, we're cutting it at 13 inches wide, um, which is one inch um, wider than is specified in the plank layout. Um, this is to take into consideration um, any depth of the, of the plank into the keel. Um, the thickness of the of the plank is three inches and really that's it so let's start with the first first piece in laying it out um, how you clamp it on the model is important i'm using these small clamps um, at this point in time they are perfect for doing this job the only issue will be is they tend to lift so we have two of these clamps pushing it down to make sure that the, um, the streak is flat uh, onto the frames. While we're on that topic, um, you've seen me struggling um, using these hold down clamps and this little spanner um, to pull the streak down onto the frame. And um, <laughs> quite a few, quite a few comments. Um, either on YouTube or directly on um, on the Nautical Research Guild um, chat site. Um, and quite clearly I was having uh, issues and trying to figure out how to, how to solve that problem. And I did come up with these. These are my trial pieces. It's um, a piece of aluminum, a big piece of aluminum, where I've threaded half of it and the other end of it is just a bigger hole and so it's easy to hold and, and pull it in place and it really makes a huge difference. Um, so I will see if I can get nuts that are pre-made up. If not, I'll just make up a few. Now we're going to fit the second piece in and of course we have a nice curve and in the book David says that that should terminate at number four and we should make sure it's a straight line that we don't take the tendency to try and pull it down. So the question is how do you get a nice neat curve? You take the French ruler and try and fit it to give you that shape and so we have it here and all you need to do now is to transfer that onto the onto the piece and then we'll we're gonna cut this um, a little long because we're gonna need to make sure we fit it correctly
in hindsight, I wish I had had access to these 3D um, photographs, which really explain so much. Um, a photograph is definitely worth a thousand words. Um, and I strongly suggest that if the opportunity comes, that you buy this wonderful offering from Admiralty Models. As we approach the installation of the garbage trick at the end, I come to remember that I hadn't really taken um, the dead wood down on the stern. So I'm going to have to do that so that I have a nice clean line for the planks to line up. I'm going to use these uh, miniature chisels for the first time and I have to say although my initial impression was that they were too small, they actually fit perfectly in the palm of the hand. Now we're going to put the last piece of the garbage tray on. This is a flat piece, so it requires very little persuasion. 